All right, guys, we're at our last bad ending for Finn. And uh, it's the same choice that we picked in bad ending number one, except we did all the good options until the last option. So we're going to do none of your beeswax again, Soxen, because that has worked out great in the past. And so this is what the status is for Finn. Very near the top this time. So. Okay, so Oliver comes and saves us. We're gonna go back, aren't we? That last choice. Oh, I called it. We're gonna go back. We're gonna get strapped to, to Glissade's medical experimental chair and <laughs> it's gonna be bad. All right, I accept. However, I have to go back to the hounds first. Wh why? I need to tell them I'm quitting. It has to be me. I would like to honor your request, but this strikes me as unwise. I'm aware. I've been watching Sir Soxon since my assignment, and... I have no idea how he will react. However, since the government of the Heights assigned me there, I have to respect my superior, whoever it may be. I might never be able to go back, but I'm still a citizen of the Heights. You seem determined. All right. But do make it back here, please. Couldn't you have sent someone with me as, like, protection? Like yourself? Why'd you send me alone? Else, thought you were my bro. I will. I will return at once. You will go now? Yes. The sooner the better. I see. Ulric, lead the way. What? Why do I? Because she won't find her way through the tunnels. You will be recompensed. Ah. Uh, damn. Fine. Let's get going so I can get back here. Okay. I appreciate it. How am I going to get back from... Wait a minute. Okay. So you're going to send me back to the Sanctuary District, but then, like, are you waiting for me? Because I still don't know how to get here. Not that it's going to matter because I'm not coming back. But... Ulrich, you must promise me that you will put me out of my misery the way you did to, to Yune. I almost said Saint Yune. I'm so, it's so ingrained in me now, too. <laughs> you must do for me what you did for the Saint Yune. Do for me what you did for Yune, at the very least. Please don't leave me there to just rot away. <sighs> um. I stood up, but Finn held me back. Can I come with you? I want to come with you. How? You're not allowed to enter the headquarters. I know, but just along the way. I want to go with you. I'm worried. Finn, I appreciate that, but sorry. Please wait here. But why? I want you to remain safe here. I need that off my mind. Because I would only be baggage. He seemed to say this almost as a challenge. With the context of the last bad ending, that hits a bit harder than it would normally. If I tell him he's wrong now, I'll have to let him come with me. Let's say something goes wrong, I thought. If Finn got caught up in it, I knew I would regret it. Ulrich saving us at the market had been nothing short of a miracle. It wasn't going to happen again. Then I know what I have to do. I looked Finn dead in the eye and said firmly, You didn't! You couldn't! Cyrus, how could you? I know you're doing it to protect him, but how could you? That was like the worst thing you could say. And you know he's just gonna follow you anyway, and then he's gonna die, and then you're gonna feel horrible. The last thing you said to this sweet boy was your baggage and useless. Ah, fight me, somebody. <laughs> I will stand up for Finn. I can't believe this is where I am, but I will stand up for Finn. <laughs> Ah! Fine. 
Also, I have a piece of paper that's about to fall over, so I'm gonna put that down very carefully. There we go. I blew on it too much of my anger. <sighs> I can't believe you're making me say this, Cyrus. Bleh. Yeah. You're only baggage. You're useless. So please just wait here quietly. Finn didn't try to respond. He let go of my sleeve, and I bent down towards him. You know best how good I am. He didn't look happy. I can't imagine why not. A grown man, tall and well-built, but he looked like a child to me. Oof. In a way, I had always liked that about him. Oof. Because Finn was who he was, I could stand firm. Baggage? I wanted to protect him. I wanted him by my side. Yes. I think this is what it feels like. I love you. I wasn't sure yet. I decided to talk it out with him when I got back. Hmm, that's a good plan. I will be back. I promise. You have to. I'll wait. Forever. You really will, though. Ulrich led me through the tunnels to the Sanctuary District. We can't see the light outside, but it's night right now. Makes me uneasy. It doesn't make you uneasy, Ulrich? Of course not. Why would it? Hmm. The dark? Or that it's silent? What's scary about the night? People are scary. They can betray you. They can walk up to you and smile, and when you turn around, wham! You get shot. What's the night compared to that? You're strong. I guess. Or maybe you're just crazy. What?! <laughs> Sorry, just kidding. Really? You sounded serious just there. Yes, I was kidding. Ah, uh, I didn't take you for someone who jokes around. Really? Yeah. You always look angry. You argued with Brandenburg a lot, right? I figured you were a scary one. Well, I did fight with him. You really do know everything I did. It's how I earn a living. I have a good memory, too. I'm awesome in every way, basically. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I like I like this little banter we got going on again, giving me the Ulrich Cyrus feels. I see. Then I have a favor to ask of the awesome Ulrich. What is it? What did you ask of him? There we are. I told Ulrich to hide and wait. Now I'm going in alone. When I tried to go inside, footsteps rapidly approached me. I grimaced, tense with nervousness. Cyrus de Stella, I will now arrest you and take you to the commander. What? What did you think was going to happen? You drew your sword on him. This was the last thing that happened. Before I even had the chance to resist, they drew their swords and pointed them at me. No room for negotiation, huh? Alright. I won't resist. Go ahead. It's going to be a long night. The first of many. <sighs> I sighed and looked at the sky. The Sanctuary District was so far from the world I knew. As always in the depths, I could see no stars. Pace, pace, pace. Are you the kind of animal that dies if it can't wander around sighing ominously? <laughs> ah. Could you stop doing that until she comes back, please? It's rather irritating. I, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm like, whose perspective are we seeing this from? The narrator, apparently. Elkrete smiled, said it was all right, and gestured for him to sit on the couch. I wonder why it's from the narrator's perspective and not either Finn or Elkrete's. 
Finn hesitated before plopping himself down again. Let's talk about your hobbies and your skills, to kill the time until she comes back. In this situation? Precisely because of it. Whatever we talk about won't change anything for her. Well, I have no power at all. Hmm? I'm her shadow, nothing more. She is the light everyone is drawn to. I'm just one of many. I'm not special. I'm just one among the crowd. Uh-huh, Mr. DLC boy that the fans asked for until the developers made a special route just for you. Mm-hmm. Sure, just one of many love interests. Mm-hmm. Are you quite serious? You must be really taking this badly. You shouldn't torture yourself so much. It's rude towards her. Rude? Yes. What you're saying also invalidates her love for you. You shouldn't do it. Thank you, Elt. My love. I don't know what Cyrus thinks of me. If only I did. Oh, you're not in a relationship? <laughs> if only. I love her. All I want is to have her near. But I don't know how she feels. I don't think I'm really getting through to her. I told her I'd wait forever. I'm determined to. But is she ever actually going to accept me? When... When will I be free? I can't tell you that. Why don't you ask her when she gets back? Well, if you will permit me this judgment after a few hours of knowing you, I doubt you will be immediately disappointed by her answer. I don't know. I'm quite sure. And if she shoots you down, I will invite you to dinner. <laughs> Thanks. Pasta only. Oh, you're back. Hey. Where is... Where's Cyrus? I can't breathe. Finn, let go of Ulrich. Where is she? Why are you alone? Answer me! Finn, let him go. Dang. Ha. Oh, damn it. Ulrich, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm used to this. Finn, this is for you. Oh, she had him deliver- no. This. What did you give him, though? She didn't bring the pendant. It would have to be, like, her sword. I mean, she might have given the sword. Was there anything he gave her? Hmm. Pondering. Searching through memory banks. Processing. Processing. I don't think he did. She got him wine. He didn't. It's probably the sword. Why did you... Why does me saying none of your business, Soxon, equal me, me being like, I gotta go back and tell him in person? <laughs> That's my question. My question of the day. Why does saying none of your business then equal I must go back and resign in person? Also... Auxiliary question. Why did I not have... Well... Sorry, Ulrich. I know you're a fantastic shot with a gun. But that's kind of not helpful in a, a group setting. So... Well, I guess you could make the same argument for Elkreed. It's just... I know it's like... It, 
it it fits because it's Cyrus and she's like a very just personality. I understand this is in line with her character. Which is why it made sense that she wanted to go, but she was like outvoted. This time she didn't care. That's not the worst thing she could have said to Finn. I'm more surprised that Finn stayed back. Although because she did say that, that's probably why he stayed back. Ah, what a terrible. But I was almost like expecting him well, he might want to mount a rescue attempt and then die horribly. I guess I just gotta wait and see how this ends. Alaric, tell us the story about what you saw. I mean, you got into the doctor's lab and killed the saint. I mean, surely you can do something for me, right? Could I believe? Don't just leave me there. Forever. Please. <laughs> Please, I don't want to stay here forever. At least let me die. Please. Okay. In the lunchroom, okay. So you've come back, you fool. Sir Saxon. One of the men pushed me forward. My hands were tied behind my back and my balance was poor. I fell to the floor. <laughs> What's happened to you, girl? You shouldn't be on the floor. Ah! Though in a way, this is where you belong. This hits the spot. You animal. You've always been a good talker. I wonder if that will last. Cyrus to Stella. You are guilty of rebellion and pointing your sword at me. You are hereby relieved of duty. Great, I was just coming here to tell you I quit. Oh. You have no rights anymore. We're going to have some fun until I've had enough. So when you say fun... Finn, this is for you. This is... Hold up. Time out. Continuity error. She doesn't have the pendant. She did not have the... Unless you want to somehow BS me into believing that Ulrich... You know... Snuck his way to the elevator. Went up to the heights. Snuck his way out of the temple. To her home got the pendant and snug all the way back again because she left it up there she was not wearing it <laughs> she does not have the pendant continuity error fine in an alternate universe cyrus had her pendant still sure cyrus's pendant why do you have it well i took it from her dead body Thankfully, she gave it to him. I have to ask you a favor. What is it? Yes. I probably won't come back. Sir Saxon is a cruel man, and unless his mood is extremely good, he won't let me go. That's the least of my worries. I was thinking about the worst case scenario. Not wanting to talk about what I was picturing, I grimaced. When I arrive there, if the guards look hostile, I want you to go back to Elkrate at once. Tell him I failed and won't be back. What are you talking about? I can't do that. I promised Elk that I'd bring him someone who could be his bodyguard from the Sanctuary District. That's you. No, it's Finn now. I can't fail my job. I won't get paid. I can't do this. Ulrich. Alright. You can get him a different bodyguard. Hire Finn. He's good. Really? He looked unreliable in a week. I don't think... He's a bit meek, but I refute the rest. He's a great guy. He's considerate, gentle, and kind. 
He's really nice. Sure, but... All right, how about this? I reached around my neck and took off my pendant. You'll do everything for money, right? This is all I have. Take it. What is this? My family pendant. I don't know how expensive it is, but since it was made in the Heights, it can't be cheap. I want you to do what I said. Oliver, can you let yourself be bullied way too easily? And you agreed to that. <laughs> you left her to die for money! And what should I have done instead? I tried to talk her out of it, okay? She was stubborn. There was nothing I could do! I saw them take her away. She's probably already... No. No, no, no! I won't accept this! I can't lose her! Right. She must be waiting for me. I'm her partner. I have to go and save her. I won't let her die. I won't. Stop. Are you going to die as well? I don't care if I die or not! I... I... Cyrus... Oh, why? I thought we could be together one day. I lived only to support you. And now you're not here. There's more? Do I have to see this? Do I? Do I have to? Do I? In here. <laughs> I haven't decided yet how much fun we're going to have. The night is long, but you might not last. Are you going to do it with my hands tied? I didn't know you liked playing with dolls. Playing with dolls? That's what it turns into. It was the same when I interrupted. You like it when they can't move, huh? Oh, Damn! So you do know where babies come from, Cyrus. You lied to me all this time. Playing with dolls is pathetic, you know? Do you understand what's happening? I do at that. I can't escape. Sooner or later, this will be my grave. That's why I'm not going to beg. I'm not going to submit to you. Have your fun with me. You just won't break down. Sir Soxon grabbed my hair and lifted my head up. <laughs> but I like that. That makes breaking you worthwhile. I'm not going to bow to you. Dang. First, I will defile your mind and your body. And then I will kill you. Sir Saxon kissed me violently! Wait! Wait! I... Hold the time! I need the time? What? Okay, I'm gonna finish this. And then maybe my brain will have caught up to what my mouth wants to say. Maybe. <laughs> it felt revolting in a way it hadn't when Finn had kissed me. I decided to show resistance and bit his lip. Uh, he'll like that. <laughs> he won't admit it, but he will like it. <laughs> he drew away, leaving the taste of blood in my mouth. I don't like that look. I'm going to break you so badly. You'll know what it means when there is no hope. Saxon glared at me, but I wasn't afraid. If I was afraid of anything, it was... 
Finn. I'm sorry. I should have known. I shouldn't have done this. He's going to suffer. And the last thing I said to him was a lie, even if I thought it was necessary. I'd promised him I'd be back, even though I'd known it would be impossible. Why did you do this then? Are you like some kind of masochist? I'd given him a doomed hope. I knew the man in front of me was going to abuse me until I died. I wasn't going to see Finn again. You always believed me. I wish I could have been truthful to you. I'm sorry, Finn. I prayed he would find happiness at some point. Knowing this was your fate? <laughs> Dying voice. So I have a lot of feelings right now. Not all good. Not all bad. My most prevalent thought at the moment is that does this ending mean that the developers are aware there is also a Soxon subgroup out there? <laughs> because up to this point, I'm like, I was like, you know, it's probably terrible of me, <laughs> but the enemies to lovers romantic in me was always kind of a little bummed that Soxon wasn't a romance option because I feel like he and Cyrus have a lot of chemistry because they're constantly butting heads. He's very much like a foil to her, if you know what I mean. And I think it would have been, like, an interesting dynamic to develop if they had chosen to. But they didn't. And I mean, I get it. You know, sometimes a girl can just have an enemy and not want to smooch him. That's fair. Um, and I'm like, okay, up to this point, they probably just, like, never thought about it. Which I guess is also, like, you can make the same argument with Finn. Right? Like, Finn was not originally a romance option, and was added due to high demand. Was this... ending kind of... a Soxon ending for the Soxon people? I guess is what I'm trying to get around to asking, like... Were they... did they... Because, I mean, we never got that from Soxon any other time. I definitely had, like, more vibes. More of those vibes from Soxon during Finn's route than any other route. But I'm just like, well, we are in the Hounds now and stuff. Did they do that intentionally, though? Would they ever add a Soxon route? No, probably not possibilities though Ooh, that um i and i also have like mixed feelings about the fact that cyrus knew what was going to happen but played dumb with finn for a year a year <sighs> I, hmm. why like with finn she's like huh you want to like sleep you know, back to back? That's great. With Soxon, she's like, my hands are tied behind my back. I know exactly what's going to transpire from here on out. How do you... <sighs> I... Okay. You know what? I think... I think I'm just gonna stop. Right there, before I further incriminate myself. <laughs> okay, what do we got going on in life? What's what's the story? Okay, so we got after stories and short stories. So, I'm thinking my plan is gonna be, we're gonna like cleanse our minds from what we saw. Unless you don't want your mind cleansed. No judgment here. 
Um, but we're gonna move on from that, from the whole that whole shebang, and we're gonna do the after stories. I think in the order of the boys that we've done. Also, it looks like Cyrus has a really cute hairpin here. Already distracted, but it looks adorable. Um, this is obviously going to be after the grand ending, so we're going to leave that alone. So we're going to do these, and I think I want to do these before going into the grand ending so I have, like, as much background on everybody as possible. Unless this has spoilers. Okay. If you know in the comments, if these have spoilers for the grand ending, Warn me now or forever hold your peace. Because otherwise I'm just jumping in and hoping for the best. Um, and yeah. So we got a lot to do here. And I'm totally not doing this only because I also need time to finish up my changeling final thoughts. Because <laughs> I was on vacation and I didn't think about it at all because I was on vacation. <laughs> So I need to start that uh, now, and I would like some time to do that. Unless, of course, I cannot have that time because those are spoiler short stories. But we can at least do the after stories. That's like after the the guy's main route. So that should be fine. So yeah, you've got at least six more episodes to warn me. Whoops. As I punch the microphone. You have at least six more episodes to warn me. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me for Finn's Bad Endings. Um... Yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one particularly. <laughs> I have a lot of feelings. I'm going to go process them now, probably with a shot of whiskey and some ice cream. So yeah. All right, guys. Until next time, I will see you later.